Today, we are going to be working on our It's Pouring Plurals lesson. Shelby, you want to come here? Okay, I've got my dogs here to help me go over the objectives. So, for art, you're learning that you're going to be able to say, I can categorize artwork based on a theme or concept for an exhibit. So that I can categorize artwork for an exhibit with the theme of. I'll know I've got it when I've drawn a design for an exhibit that includes the drawing of my artwork that could work well for a love themed exhibit. Um, you're gonna be using acrylic or tempered paint just depending on what I have available. Your art vocab word is a tint. So a tint is any color plus white. So light blue is a tint of blue, light green is a tint of green, etc. Our art history connective is this guy called Gustav Kalibolt and his famous piece of artwork, uh, Paris Street Rainy Day. So we're going to be doing a rainy day just like Gustav. For writing, you're going to be learning that you can demonstrate that you understand how to form irregular plur plural nouns so that you can label your raindrops with irregular plural nouns. Oh, my dog just growled such as feet, children, teeth, mice, and fish. And you'll know you've got it when your painting of raindrops are labeled with irregular plural nouns such as feet, children, teeth, mice, and fish. So let's get started with our lesson.